go to the layer menu and then new layer. Then go over to the edit and fill. And I'm going to fill it with black. You can fill it with green, blue, gradients, whatever. Click apply. Then I'm going to go over to here. I'm just going to use the paintbrush tool. And this can be used with many other tools. I'm also going to show a few other tools as well. So paintbrush tool. And with that, now I've got a paintbrush here. I've got a, an arrow design. That was created just using a, a line and an arrow head that was fit with a gradient. So, but you can use anything. Of course, there's like 5 million different types of brushes, if not more. So you can just apply it just like that very rapidly. And you can, of course, do it with more finesse than that. So I filled the thing. But what I can now do is I can go over here to layer and fade paintbrush tool. Now you can fade gradients, you can fade effects, you can fade lots of things in Affinity. And you can then, of course, change the there so you make it sort of less, reduce it or just keep it as is. But you can also go for blending modes. Now in this case, it doesn't really make much difference on the first apply. But I'm just going to go for OK there, apply it. Now I'm going to apply it again. And I, of course, could go and use a different brush. There's loads of brushes that come with Affinity Photo, which you can apply as well. But I wanted something nice and colourful. So I apply it again. And you see, once you've done that, you can again go up to Layer, and then you go to Fade Paint Brush Tool. And now you can see what happens. Fades 50%, that's the default. And it also goes for Normal there. And then you can just change it. So you can fade backwards and forwards. And also, this time, the blending modes actually kick in. So you've got here difference. And you can go there and you can see and create a real sort of mishmash of colours just by doing that. So click apply. And you can of course do the same. You can do exactly the same. But also you can go and of course go apply filters. So filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and something like that. And of course you can use that as well. So layer, fade Gaussian blur. Lots and lots of things in Finzi have this fade feature. And again, you run through, same there, difference, lighten, and so on. You can run through them, maybe change there, exactly the same. So that's with the brushes, as well as, of course, filters. But what you can also do is you've got loved ones. You've got blur, sharpen. Now, some of these possibly don't show vast amounts, but I'm just going to go for smudge brush. Now, smudge brush is one of those ones that if you don't get the settings reasonably high, Sometimes it just doesn't seem to work. So I've got it 480, flow 95, I'm going for strength 93. So it actually, hopefully, will apply. There, it just does. So you can apply a couple of times. Now, the key thing is, you can always undo. So if you apply it, but as soon as you've applied it, you've got to go and use the fade. If you don't, you end up losing it. So I've got this design now. I've obviously quickly smudged the image. And you could, of course, there's mirror options as well. All those sorts of things. Again, layer, go to fade smudge brush tool. And you can see you can result, you can fudge, fudge the smudge. You can fade the smudge even, even that more helpful. And you can run through again with these and you've got here difference, hard light, soft light, and you can just see, you can create a variety of different, and you can of course change that, move that up and down. And again, saturation, subtract, exclusion, difference, and so on. And of course, once you're happy with the design or not, because it really does look quite a smudge there, what you can do, you can of course go and apply various color settings, auto levels, and so on, maybe to brighten the image up a bit. But you can see you can use these tools with the layer and fade smudge brush or any other brush, of course, as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.